That's right, so first of all, sword is out front, buckler is here, protecting your chest. That's it. Get it out, Lord. Get it out, Lord. That's it. There you go. Okay. So, watch me out. Yeah? So, my attack is, meet it with a buckler, before it's in full force. At the same time, so you're going to go boom. They're like time hits, yeah? So you stop and hit. Oh, just at the same, same time. time. Yes. Okay. Right, so, so, if, he oh, so if he attacks about here, yeah? Uh, and then we've got room. Oh, yeah, so I'm not going to get any good cuts. That's it, you're okay. going to be too close, you can imagine poaching the pole. If you're that close, yeah. Well, I'm not the other point of crushing it, it's the maximum cut. No. I'm here somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Right. The yeah, other okay. thing to bear in mind is see what happens if you go offline a little bit. Yeah. I'm lifting it. Should, should I be lifting it up? Slightly? As long as you don't obscure your vision. Okay. Yeah. It can go up there, but it can't go in front of your eyes. Okay. So never obscure your vision. vision. If you put one in your mouth, doesn't matter where. As long as I, you know, if it's up there, fine. I'm leaving that before it's in full force. Cool. What I don't want to do is that. Because then your vision is. Yeah. It could, it's in there. Right. Okay. Remember, aim for there or there, yeah? That's it. That's it. Okay, Neil, just a bit more power there, yeah? Right. Okay, nice one. You can't do that all right, go. And I like the way you're letting the, sh the buckler turn. Well, we're back. Oh, what's the other one that I did wrong or something? No, no, that's right, because it, you want to deflect it off. And also, if you deflect, if, if, if it comes in and you deflect it, Oh uh, yeah, all that energy is Yeah, gone. all the energy goes straight into it and boom, it comes okay. off, yeah? Yeah. The other thing attached to that is if that goes in and I am here, well, so imagine that I've got that there. What can you do with the edge? Boom. That's it. You try and use the uh, boss. Like a metal box. Yeah, like a metal boxing glove. Okay. What you're doing is using your sword to stop it. If it gets past your sword, then you're you're using the buckler to stop it. Right. right? Remember, it's only your second one on your face. So, uh, hold on. so if, if I'm not going to hold it, but so if I'm here and my sword's out, oh shit, boom, shoot there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it would be otherwise, boom here, and then I cut it and cut it. If you know what I mean. Yeah. I know double weapons can be a bit strange for people sometimes, but. They do get together after a while. Yeah. You, you, they mesh. Okay. Well, how dangerous was what you just did there? Could you, have, could you have gone to the side of your sword and killed him? If I hadn't pulled it, I'd have killed him. Yeah, that's what I mean. So when, if you're going to stop with this, uh, okay, if you're going to stop with this, so if, I, so if I'm here, okay, and he comes down like that. I lock my arm, take it, and if it goes through the room, boom, it will deflect, yeah? Mm -hmm. But, here. Yeah? I'm stopping it, yeah? With my arm's out straight. You're blocking it with your arm bent, which means the heavy blow. Oh, okay. I'm taking it. So if it comes here, and my sword is, say, here, which it should be. Yeah? So you must stop it. Now, if you're stopping it with a button, boom! Your arm's got to go out straight and lock, yeah? Oh, so are you coming out to meet it somewhat? Well, Sometimes, I don't know. If he, if he runs at me... BAM! BAM! Yeah? Right. Okay. So I'll go back and then boom, I'll come in and it'll surprise him. That's it. Keep that arm out. Make sure his sword is well out of commission. So also, when you've... Once you've put the stop on that, this is what you're watching. Okay. No. So this is now the worst part. And yeah. That smash. Hey. That'll, that'll kill you. That'll crack your skull. 
So yes, so that cut, it's got to be like a kill or a disabling cut at least. So that he cut the end, got the strength to go smash into you. Right, slow. Slow, right, so we just it. And as soon as he stops it, that should come there. Boom. And thrust Get his inside line. Boom, yeah. yeah. Now he can't reach you. Okay. Yeah? So it's... Remember, I mean, yeah, no, no. Yeah. remember, distance is king, and that weapon gives you distance. Okay? So that's your primary weapon, yeah? Mm. So even if you stop it, full, and you frustrate him, you've got that distance. If he's coming in at the time, he'll go straight through. Mm. Okay, remember, aim for the soft spots. Boom, there you go. You've got it. Now, he, because you've got the sword where it is, if he presses forward, he's dead. Right, boom, he's dead, yeah? I mean, when you're coming in like that, put it on the front, yeah? Slow. One. Now to the inside. Do it like this. One, two. One, two. Go. One, two. One, two. One, two. Right, keep your wrist straight, George, otherwise... Yeah, you're, you're going to lose the sword. Well done. Well done. Right. Nice one. Okay, now put the down right in. So go one, two, three. One, two, three. So all it is, George, is one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah? That's it. If you prefer, <coughs> we'll start with one to that side. It makes it easy for you. Yeah, so starting on the outside, that's it, yeah. One, two, three, that's it. Really? Yeah. One, two, three, that's it. One, two, three, that's it. I'm used to this kind of yeah. the thing is, yeah. where you have it, you're sort of doing that. Right, now if you imagine that I spot that, right, and I've got a butt clear and all, I jam your weapon up and I come straight down. Okay, yeah. so, so I'm not protecting No, it. so it must be here. That knuckle should be level with your eyebrow. Alright, oh, yeah. Right, so it's that's, yeah. that's it. And when your sword's face, I should make the Scottish flag. So the cross you extend that to about your elbow. That's that's it. Now, lift your guard again. Lift that up. That's, that's the one. Now that's a fierce and wooden guard. Yeah. This is a lot of hard work on yeah, the elbow. Because there's no openings. Right, then you bottom of your body, but to go to the bottom of your body, right, if I'm coming here, you'll sort of just come straight down. No no no. So yeah. Boom, there, before I'm even near you then. Because to go there it takes much more distance for me and I have to come closer. We're all looking at this. Boom. Okay. Now, you've used, you've used the sword as the primary weapon and as the primary guard. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is, as it comes down, jab it and come into at the side. Jab it there. Sorry. No, the other way. So, jab, jab it. So as the sword comes down, what's the side? So we're going on the right hand to make life a little bit easier. For yeah. So you get to my outside. Okay, now. Get your, in your guard, that's it. So as the sword comes down, you move the sword and you jam the sword, his sword with your butler as you go. That's it. And out here. Try here. Oh, okay. Boom. There. And there you are. Okay. And that'll be it. Right, okay. you're blocking your vision. Get your, get your, get your, get your. Oh, okay. That's it, you can see. Yeah? That's the, that's it. So you, boom, you cut it and you back out again in guard, yeah? Now these are single techniques right now. What I want you to do is I want you to get into your guard. Now, I want you to block an outside and then it's going to come on the inside and I want you to stop it with your buckler and strike with the sword. So I'm, I'm going to block yeah. the outside with the sword. the sword and then one's going to come on the inside, you're going to stop it and hit with the sword. Yes. Yeah, so my attack's going to be there. There. Right, okay, okay. So, one, two. That's it. 
Nice one. Well done. Again. I'm liking this. <laughs> <coughs> What? Ooh. I didn't extend, I was like this. Yes, yeah. And now I see. It, it, it did hit the buckler. Yeah. It did hit the buckler, but because it was yeah. weak, it slipped under. Okay. Yeah. Now, you might have been lucky and killed him first, <laughs> but you know. That's it. This time, George, as he comes in, just take a step back, stop that. Then stop that and come in. Yeah. So I'm taking a little step back on the second one as it comes in. Go. So one. Much better. I like that. Now take a step back on the first one and, and do the second one without the step, but go to the side like you, like you did, yeah? Go. That's it. Yeah, when, when, yeah. when you take a step back on the first one yeah, you get and then the second one, I'm yeah. nearly behind him with yeah. this. And not only that, you give yourself that bit of distance so you've got time to work and move, you know yeah. what I mean? If you don't move it, I've got to try somehow to come here. Mm. But if yeah. as he does that, just bring yourself down and point out. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> That's how simple it is. We need to move. We need to go forward. Yeah, if, 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 if he has to move to that point, yeah. but then the centre is open. Absolutely. He's wide space in his room. And not only that, right, because we've got here, we're just using time and hand. I'm here, so. There we go. Alright? All I've done is move, so hand and body. Yeah, and I mean, mm. in real life, I would have gone straight through the front, yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, <coughs> this is a, what's the sort of left hand, I think? Well, it's a southpaw, isn't it? You'd be probably more like that, wouldn't yeah. you? How would have got, how would have also got spot to fight a southpaw? It's the same with weapons in your hand. Yeah. Yeah? So, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the centre. Yeah, I want to get, yeah. get my left foot in the middle of this side. That's it, yeah. That's exactly what you want to do. And with a weapon, it's the same. Okay. So, so, right now, I want, what I want you to do, you've, you've learnt the one, two, three, take you through the hanging guard okay. and the bastard garden, please. So, this is the hanging guard, the true garden. All so right? Basically, the true garden or prime, you just draw it from the scale. Boom, there you yeah. are. So, so you're a little bit less square on than that. Yeah. Notice I'm facing towards Frank. Yeah. But when I turn and incline, incline towards you, my shoulder's back. Yeah, your body is still up that way, but your head and your arm are here. That's it. Yeah. Now, it goes like this. One, yeah. You move your waist and that, yeah. So get your buckler up. There, yeah. That's it. So, so if you cut, that should be out, so absolutely anything coming. So, so give him a few of the no, don't raise it, just here. Bring it across. One, like that. Just bring it across, yeah? Now the point should be slightly back towards your leg. When you're doing it, yeah? And you just move, move. That's it. So your point is forward, it needs to be back slightly. No. That, so, that, that's it. So, so, when, so when we're in your position, mm -hmm. it should be slightly back. That's it, perfect. Hold on the wrist at first, but... So you just, you're just drawing it. Yeah. So he'll put a few in, and all you do is this, George. Go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. That's it. Okay. Bastard garden. Bastard. Exactly the same. Mm -hmm. A shoulder pipe. <laughs> so yeah. you're protecting, basically. You're, you're protecting the the as far as the knee down. Okay? So you're here, right? You're at shoulder level and you're looking over your arm. Oh, okay. And it should still be that pointing slightly backwards, yeah, with, your, with the tip of the sword. Go. The thing with this particular one, George, is if you need to go lower, lower yourself using your rear leg. Yeah. That's okay. okay. So exactly right. rather than bending forward, because if you bend, if I go down here and you bend forward towards me, I'm coming over. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's got that bounce, boom. So you do need to get lower with basketball, you sink yeah. on the rear leg. 
keeping this in front of her. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's there. Oh, that's it. Okay. And the reason we do that is because we still want to maintain distance. And we don't want our head going forward. Okay. So now, give him a few towards the bars of the garden. Okay. So, if you want to go there with it, is it still in the same position? Always by the other way. Always. No matter where that tool arm goes. Not underneath, like that. That it? follows. Yeah, it's to the side. That's it, yeah. So, ready? Same action as the bastard, as the hanging guard. That's it. Again. 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 Now, mix the two. So, I give him a blow there, and then a blow there. And then okay. a blow there, and a blow there. Nice and slow. So, you go one, two, three, four. You know, like that. Okay, so get it into the true guard. That's there, it. There, there, there. Okay. Okay, go. One, two, three, four. That's it. Well done, George. Again. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Good, good. Okay. Okay. That's it, well done. Well done. So now you've got the garlands. Right. Now, take him through the cuts of the broadsword target, yeah? Okay. With the single hand sword, yeah? Right. So put your buckler down for now. Are you going to use full frontal with it, yeah, so you get that smashing, yeah, okay. so what you're doing with this is, you sh you're like your boxing, you've got your hooks, your uppercuts, and your crosses, yeah, mm -hmm. in the book you see me use an edge, but that's because the opportunity was there when we were doing it, right, okay, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do, 
Okay. Watch well, the weapon. It's going to gonna come in slow enough. And hit that point back. It's yeah. going to come in slow enough for you to be able to think. Alright? Well done. Smash me in the knuckles. And there. Then kill me. No, kill me. Kill me. We well, haven't got to do that. Get back into the position. Right, you pushed it. Now use the quillers oh. to smash it in the face of it. You know, look, it's like a Smash. Smash. Right. That, that's that's steady as well. Yeah. Okay. So if you put the, put the swords together and keep the buffer up. <clears throat> so what we're doing is, if you move that over there, you need to prepare for an impact. I just want to really strike something. So we've got the true goal in there. Use my weapon to come round off of. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so if we do that once more, let's <coughs> have There we go, smash. And then smash it with your feet. Like that, straight, no, just straight over. Whack! Oh, from there. Oh, that's it. They're so, not just the protecting you. They're an offensive weapon as well, George. I mean, it's like a basket. So if you go into, if you attack me to, where was it? It was to that side. So if I've got an intruder cross there, so let's just go for it here. Well, and I'm close enough to do it. So I've smashed that out of the way. From there, whack! Yeah. I'm pivoting around that point. That's it. I'm really unworried about that bad. You message you back. Can, but go back to that. Just step in and use that pole. Boom! There you go. Yeah. Remember, Kill Butler is a medium to close fighting range. It's not long distance. Mm -hmm. Medium to close range. Mm -hmm. When you get in the close range, you have to use every part of the sword, the pommel, the quillums, the blade, everything, including your hand that grips the uh, actress. The it's same with the bucker. You know, boom, in. Let's do that attack again. And tell Frank why you're doing what you're doing. So, there. That's it. <coughs> and now to come in. Okay, and why? Because uh, it's the closest target. Also. What have you done with regards to me and my weapon? Uh, well, if you tried. No. As you're coming over, <coughs> just guard with the buckler. Go down, hit his hand as okay. you're coming over. Okay. Boom! There you go. So, you've negated everything. Call the principles. <coughs> you've wide space, mate. Right? Yeah. You have control of my weapon, mm -hmm. and you now become first mover. That comes over, up, and that comes through. Yeah. So, so, at every point, you've got complete control of my weapon. The best that I could hope to do, and I wouldn't have the time to do it, would be to maybe have a flick at your leg. Uh -huh. But look how close you are. Yeah. You know, and you've already covered it. His best bet would be to try and fly out, but he's all by two on his forward leg. So, so he's, he's got no it. chance. He's dead. So proper guard to that's it. Oh. Oh. Uh, right? No. Okay, go back. Oh, just always, that. always keep your thumb in. So, natural bleeding angle. You take the sword. Down, and you want it to finish up somewhere around here. So that's coming down at that oblique angle. Okay? From that side, same oblique angle. And it ends in? in finishing off somewhere around the other chest. Yeah. That's what we're aiming for. So rather than it being something that comes in sideways, mm -hmm. it comes in at that oblique angle, which is why the soul tile works. The, the tree cross works. Okay. So, so I'm, I'm not going with those ones. I'm not going to sort of hit this. Hit it, yes. To be perfectly frank with you, if you hit me here, I'm dying. Okay. Happy days. Mm. If you hit me here, I'm probably dying. Happy days. Just what this. Is. Yeah. 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 Uh, what matters is the angle of the cut. Okay. okay. So you start off with a cut of that. So down there, and down there. No matter if it's touch, it's not sure it's not too hard. One. That's it. Again. That's it. Down one blow, straight to the crown. Squelch. Lovely. So, and that is where three fingers work from the edge of the sword. From there, so probably about there is your prime killing spot. With a single hand sword. And that's perfect. Right. Okay. 
Okay? That's so a little bit, that three fingers breath is what helps to count the weight and carry it into the target. Mm -hmm. Third one. It's coming flat angle, squelch, straight to the middle. So I'm from the same goal. Yeah, from the same goal, make sure it's keeping keep it above your head. Into the middle. That's it. Yeah. And the same on the other side. And you can do it towards the neck to take the head off. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you do it to, as long as it's up their main points. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they're the, they're the prime cuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do this one coming up at the same angle that we can have now. Okay. Now, you can, from that, if you're coming up, the chances are the weapon's already at that low angle in anyway. the So maybe take that from a bastard garden. So, down the shoulders, that's it. So, for there, you're coming up that way. That's it. And that will hit. If you, yep, if you hit at the hip, you should end up out there inside, yeah? That's the same way. Yeah. Mm. Go from that to here. That's it. One. That's perfect. Now, the other side. Turn. I would probably come, so I could turn here and the inside. I would come probably up. come up from that cut. Like this, look. Sort of figure eight. Oh, so it's. Um, One. That's yes. it. Yes, yes. That's it. Figure eight. Right. Moving in. Mm -hmm. That's so it. Right. Right. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And the same with the down ones. Figure eight. Four. 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 four, 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 four. four. One, two. That's it, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a good move well, we'll using the wrist. Yeah. Okay. Lastly, straight up. Now you can come up with it like that if it's a double in sword. Or like that. Or like that. So again. His target is irrelevant. So from there, if you want it to, you can come straight up and under the chip. Boom, okay. that's the one. Okay. You could, yeah. come straight up into the femoral artery, cut the cock off. Boom. Not fun. <laughs> Funny, huh? And then finally, you thrust. <coughs> thrust there. Thrust there. And thrust there. Now, chances are you can use your arms already. Yeah, but thrust, if I'm. I'm Kind of familiar with more than the other stuff. Yeah. So yeah. run through. Now That's also good. remember with the thrust, if it comes in with the edges pushing up and down, it's done. Mm -hmm. Remember you can always sorry. So rather than through that, you can always flatten it and go through the ribs into the lungs or the heart. Right, well, so it'll get between those nice little yeah. gaps. Yes. Yeah. Right, so boom, it can go straight in between the ribs, straight into the lungs. You can punch a boom on both lungs, yeah, mm -hmm. that or straight. You can come up through the gap into the heart and able to remove it. Yeah. So as it just mm, got to be that way, yeah. But those two, they come in on the flat anyway. They go from straight through. Okay. Yeah. So run through them all. Right. Do you remember? Just basically divide my body in white. So one, two. That's it. Down one. Boom. That's it, come through. That's the one. Yes. Sure. And all, when you do that, come up that way with it as well, yeah? So you get used to doing forehand and backhand. Boom, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Too flat. Yeah. That's it. Yes. That's how you do it. That's it. Well done. Boom, yeah. It's a good job you're familiar with swords, you're catching, you're picking it up perfectly. Okay, don't forget the thrust. Yeah, thrust. So you have a normal thrust, edge up and down, boom, yeah. Then you have a, the flat thrust that goes through the ribs. That's it, into the neck, and then you've got that one, and forward hand, boom, there you go, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I've never done, in, in long sword, I don't know why I've never done the thrust on, on the flat bits. Yeah. It's just so much more efficient. Yeah, you don't. A lot of sword styles, especially when they're interpreted from the manuals, they don't always give you that. Mm. But with swords, with single sword styles, they do give you things like that. Mm -hmm. Because with, with a butler or a dagger, when you make more than more a butler, you should be able to take over to that sword and win. Mm. You know? mm. So, you know, one of the other things I think, and I don't know, I don't know what you reckon of this, 
But these manuals, a lot of them are pre renaissance Mm, yeah. So there is absolutely no notion of perspective. No. So if you're, if you're, if you're, you know, you get the guy drawing something, I use that. That's how you find that. You know, if he's doing showing that, now it's not unthinkable that what these the guys are doing is that, but because they can't show the perspective. Yeah. Me, me. And moving about with the sort of up. So get, get the get the car. Right, now it's a very difficult guard to keep because it puts strain mm. on your shoulders and your arms. Now what I want you to do, right, is just move around, but always not going forward, always move around and going on the back foot, going off line, moving your shoulders into the old position like you're being attacked. Yeah? That's it, keep doing that. That's it. Remember, keep your feet synchronised all the time. Like the dance, yeah? Keep your feet synchronised with the upper body movement. Bring your body to be one rather than two separate pieces. It's difficult sometimes. So here, just move this one. One, one. There, 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 yeah? That's it. That's it, bitch. Keep that. Remember, keep this one higher. That's it. So we're always looking over. That uh, knuckle with your eyebrow. That's it's not hard work, right? Yeah. It is hard work, but it makes you strong because you're straight. Yeah. That's it, George. Keep that. That's it. Go back. Boom, boom, boom. That's it, then. Go up high. Okay, now add cuts into it. Now, boom, stop. Boom. Like your shadow for the three, stop. And also stop the buckle of the cut. Yeah, no, it's just slow, go slow. Boom, that's it. That's the one. And then just move, so cut, and back in the guard move, cut, thrust, and back, start moving about, cut, cut, move, yeah? Mm -hmm. Try and get a flow. Which is how you use your frame? Uh, the one you gave me. The one you want. Yeah, the uh, one that's wide at the top and skinny at the bottom. Right. That's it. Taking combination as well. So it's one, two, three. So one, two, three. Right, cut, thrust, cut. Yeah, that kind of thing, yes. Thrust. That's it, and stop, nice one. That's it, keep doing that. Keep doing if it gets too much for the shoulders and that, stop. Well done, George. You're doing really well. That's it. Now remember, when you stop, always come back into a proper guard, yeah? Yeah. That's it. Well done. That's it. You're using a lot of full arm cuts as well. So come into the wrist. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, do the wrist cuts as well, yeah? Yeah, it's a lot. <coughs> it's a lot more hard work as well doing a shorter yes. rather than wrist. Yeah, but what it does is well, it strengthens their wrists. Yeah. You know, so every other weapon you pick up, boom, you have power. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do quite a lot of that, when you pick up your two-handed sword, boom, 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 you'll be able to do them little cuts much quicker. Yeah. You'll be able to take your partners out and do another time or two without getting into the rapid situation. You'll never see a sword and buckler man or a sword and dagger man get into a grappling situation because they get past that sword, the dagger, or the, yeah, that's it. So, you've got a massive advantage, massive advantage. So, give me that. Right, now, if I come in with a thrust, I'm going to hit the buckler. Now, what have I done? Left yourself. Why do Boom. So, if I come in with a cut there, right? I'm going to come in, and then, straight away, no, not a full-on cut, right? So, if I do that, just bring the point forward, that's it. That little wrist cut, boom, cuts me up, yeah? So, if I come in with your neck, yeah? So, come here, stop with the sword, now, fucking smash me, boom, that's it, yeah? If I come in deeper, boom, there he is, boom, yeah? 
Shall I have four knots there, then? Four knots. Four knots. And then just come. That's it. You've got to put a left foot forward. You just smash. Because you'll hit it forward. Yeah, because I come forward. So you're attacking. So if I come in, okay. There you go. Come on. Okay. Now, let's take it to the other side. Okay. Now, let's take it to the other side. There you go. If I come in from the other side, if I get ready to saw, you stop at the butt butt. There. Yeah? If I come in with thrust, now, you haven't shown how to put the thrust aside with a single saw, do you? No. Right, so, you put a thrust aside, mm -hmm. boom. That's it. So, if I come in with a the thrust, there we are. That comes straight back in thrust. Boom. And then that comes in. Smash. That's the end. When I, uh, when I, um, to flex your thrust, yeah. should, when I go like that, should I lean into it to go no, like that? No, 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 because okay. what happens is, if you lean into it, that's an extra time. Ah, uh, okay. And you're bringing yourself forward, yeah? So, oh, yeah, because now I put hand, yeah. body, and foot yeah, into body, it. Yeah. yeah, and you just got hand. That's it, yeah. So, yeah. so if I thrust again, boom, that's it, just boom, and then you can thrust. Or, No, no, you don't need to. Boom! You can put it in. That's not a metal boxing glove. So I'm going to thrust. That's it. That's thrust. Stab. Pop. And then just smash. Boom! That's the end. That's the one. Whoop. That's all right. Right. What are you going to do? Good. You can do that. Absolutely right. Or you can cover and come in with the sword, yeah? No, it doesn't have to be. No. You've covered yourself. Right? Boom! His sword is spent. Yeah, so yeah, I've taken care of his threat. You've taken care of his weapon. He's yeah. got a sword single. There's nothing in the other end. Boom! Just cut into it. You know? Whether it be a flat cut or an angle cut. Chops in the outside. Okay. Okay. Ready? Boom! No, no, I've got my line in there. Yeah, don't do that. If it's coming to the side of your sword, use your sword to stop right. it. How about that? Sorry, I'll pour it out for you for a second. Is that my answer? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a dart they have. Right? What they've done is they've put all the moves of one through three together, mm -hmm. and then they do it like a catcher, a two man catcher. But, but, in real life, yeah? That's what happens. When people want to kill you, they're trying to kill you. Mm -hmm. So do it again. Right, get in your best one through three defense. Yeah. Yeah, but as if you've got the, the weapons together. Right. Now, I would like so, that, but well, it's like having one weapon instead of two on one. <sighs> Try and get a little bit of yeah. yeah, but that's not gonna work. And then back sort of that I, it's too far away, it's too yeah. much time. And apart from anything else, if, yeah. I, if I do this... Mm -hmm. Just stick your sword in his face. No, just, uh, just what, go forward, stick it in his face. That's it. That's what it is. Fighting should be simple. It could not be complicated. Mm -hmm. Simple makes winners. <laughs>